Hey folks, Edgar B. Herrick III here from GBH's Curiosity Desk, where you ask questions and I find answers. Today, we are at the Mass Autobahn Blue Hills Reservation. Why, you may ask? Well, we're gonna answer this question from John Goldthwait. I have a question for you about birds, and do they have a sense of smell? For answers, we turn to Mass Autobahn veteran, Norman Smith. Very interesting question. And if you asked this question 25 or 30 years ago, we would probably say, no, birds probably don't have any kind of a sense of smell at all. And that's what the thought was. But we have come a long way since the early 1990s. We now know that Pluto is not a planet. We know that Apple stock was a much better investment than Beanie Babies. And we know that, yes, most birds, in fact, probably all birds, have a sense of smell. Why did we think that birds didn't have a sense of smell. They don't seem to have much of an olfactory gland in their brain, and their nasal passages, for the most part, are very small in most bird species. But birds, of course, come in all shapes and sizes, and it turns out the same is true of those nasal passages. This is the skull of a turkey vulture, and if you look at that turkey vulture, you can see the nasal passages okay. right here, and you can see how large those are. Why don't you hold on to that? This is a barred owl skull. And look at these nasal passages oh, compared yeah, to the size tiny. of the vulture. Yep. Very tiny. Researchers also learned that just like those nasal passages, the olfactory bulb in a bird's brain isn't always so small. And the same goes for the number of smell-related genes each bird species has. Kiwis, for example, have about 200 more of them than humans do. So how well a bird can smell really depends on the bird. And some can smell pretty darn well. As for how our fine feathered friends actually use their sense of smell, well, that ranges too. Studies on little ground foragers called juncos have shown that they use it to mate. Homing pigeons use it to help them navigate. And for petrels and a lot of vultures, it's how they find food. And speaking of vultures, you might have guessed from those huge nasal cavities that they are indeed among the very best smellers in the entire bird kingdom. So good, in fact, that they get put to work, so to speak, up in America's 49th state. So when I was in Alaska, what was really interesting is the guys were talking about when we have a leak in the natural gas pipeline, we look and see if there are any vultures circling around the pipeline because the vultures pick up that odor that they put in the natural gas and it smells very much that methane smells like dead animals. <laughs> Now still other birds, even some really common ones like hummingbirds, remain shrouded in mystery. Do hummingbirds actually use a sense of smell when they're migrating or do they use it to find flowers? I mean, flowers give off an aroma. Maybe hummingbirds can have some sort of a sense of smell and pick up the aroma from a flower to key in on where those flowers are. We really don't know. In fact, what we still do not know about birds and their sense of smell likely far exceeds what we actually do know. And that is just fine with Norman Smith. And that's the exciting thing about research, because we find new things all the time. And you don't have to be a scientist to do research. We could not agree more, Norman. Finding new things is what we are all about, and we cannot do that without you. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and perhaps most importantly, let me know what you are curious about, because hey, I might just look into it for you. I'm Edgar B. Harwick III. Stay curious out there. The Curiosity Desk is sponsored by Emerson College, inspiring curiosity and creative expression in all of us.